Hello everyone, my name is Mike Meno and in this video, let me share to you passive prevention tips that you can be able to apply at your home with your loved ones. Okay, how can you be able to implement passive prevention tips in your home? So before I answer that question, syempre, let me remind you that COVID-19 is still here. It's real and it is publicly enemy number one so as you can see in this graph or in this map lumalaki pa or dumadami pa yung spread ng COVID-19 marami pa rin cases marami pa rin namamatay all over the world so please understand that COVID-19 is your public enemy number one so pag naintindihan natin do at na-accept natin na nandito pa yung COVID-19 at sooner or later, perhaps you or your loved ones will be affected by this COVID-19. That's why I am doing this for us to really prepare on how can we be able to have a better fighting chance with this public enemy number one. So again, paano natin gagawin yan? Of course, we need to know our enemy. Tama? How it moves and how it attacks. How it moves, ang goal ng viruses, again, to replicate. Paano siya magre-replicate? -re second thing or second point, it needs a living host. Sino yung living host? Ikaw at ako. Para mag-replicate yan. Paano siya umaatake? How it attacks you? Lots of inflammation, that's number one. Lots and lots of inflammation that you will really experience all over your body that's the first attack second attack is blood clotting buong katawan mo din so ngayon syempre kung alam mo na paano siya gumalaw at paano siya umatake then makakapagawa tayo ng countermeasures or defense para just in case magkaroon ng COVID-19 you have a better fighting chance right when it comes to your life so Paano natin gagawin to? Of course, while the vaccine is being deployed, kailangan natin i-implement yung herd immunity principle. Herd immunity principle is parang ano yan eh, meron kang squad or meron kang grupo na lahat kayo binabantayan nyo yung sarili nyo na hindi kayo magkaroon ng COVID-19. So that's herd immunity. It's a group of people that will fight. COVID-19, hindi pwedeng mag-isa lang. It should be group of people. And paano natin gagawin to As a team or as a group, we need to implement preventions. Tama? So, alam naman natin, prevention is better than cure. So, now you know that. But this time, please apply it in your, li in your life and include na natin yung family mo. Yan ang herd mo. Yung family mo, yan ang herd mo, at yan tayo magpo-focus ngayon. So, we have two types of prevention that I'm going to share. First, active prevention, and second, passive prevention. So, first, ano ba yung active prevention? Active prevention are some, are some of the preventions that you are using that is dependent on you. Okay? So, ano yung mga example ng active prevention na ginagawa mo? Um... Face mask. Tama, hindi naman palagi ka nag-wear nag face mask, di ba? Pag nasa loob ka ng bahay, hindi ka naman nag-wear ng face mask. Okay, so face mask is like an active prevention. Of course, social distancing. That's part of the active prevention. Uh, air purifier, nagsusot ka ba ng air purifier? Face shield. Yan, active prevention din ng face shield. Washing your hands disinfecting your home at yung isa pang tinatawag nating UV box. Meron ka bang UV box diyan sa bahay mo? 'Di ba yung linalagay mo yung cellphone mo or yung susi ng kotse mo bago mo sila ilagay sa bahay. So these are some of the examples of active prevention that you are implementing in your life. Ang challenge lang again dito is yun nga nakadepende sa iyo. Pwede mong tanggalin yung Yung face mask, pwede mo tanggalin yung face shield, social distancing, medyo compromise yan. So, these are some of the challenges na pag nag lang tayo sa active prevention, 
medyo mahina yung herd immunity natin. Okay? So, I hope you are understanding that and I hope I'm making sense to you. That's why it is also important for us to apply passive prevention. Okay? Anong ibig sabihin ng passive prevention? Hindi na nakadepende sa iyo. Diba? Yung prevention mo. Naka-automated na yan internally. So, paano mo gagawin yun? You have to increase your immunity. And if we are going to apply herd immunity, that also include the increasing immunity of your whole family, hindi lang ikaw. So, paano mo gagawin to? Sabi ng World Health Organization that we need to have a well-balanced diet of vitamins, minerals, fiber, protein, antioxidant, for us to have or build a stronger immune system. So, yun ang kailangan natin. Ngayon, ang challenge kasi sa food na kinakain natin, hindi na natin ma-implement yung well-balanced diet. Tama? Very challenging yan at hindi natin magagawa consistently. That's why we have to really move or, or shift to the idea of taking supplements. Okay, me and all my family are taking supplements for us to increase or have a stronger immune system every day. So ngayon, if we want to have supplements or if we're going to take supplements every day, what kind of supplement ang kailangan natin i-take? Tama? So ito lang naman, ito lang yung kailangan, ito lang ang hinahanap ko Actually, tatlo. Three things that hinahanap ko when it comes to taking supplements. Of course, first, kailangan meron siyang clinical studies. Kailangan well-validated yung, yung ititake kong supplement tsaka yung ititake ng supplement ng family ko. It undergone 6S quality process. Siyempre, hindi ako magtitake risk if yung quality ng supplement is compromised. Kaya mag-ingat kayo doon sa mga counterfeit supplements. Okay? And of course, thirdly, part of it dapat nasa PDR siya or Physician's Desk Reference. Okay? Kailangan nakikita ko siya sa PDR.net para malaman ko na talagang okay to at ginagamit or rinerefer ng mga doctors. Okay, may referral ng doctors for it to be validated na maganda ang integrity at credibility ng supplement na ititake ko. Of course, syempre kung lalaban ako against COVID-19, kailangan maganda yung weapon ko, high quality at talagang working supplement na ititake ko at ng family ko. Make sense? So here are some of the passive prevention supplements that I am taking personally and my family as well. So perhaps after this video, you can be able to also try and use it in your uh, in your life. Okay, first of course, syempre antioxidant. Tama? Kailangan natin pa-increase yung overall antioxidant natin and that the, the supplement that we are taking is what we're calling life pack. So life pack has 40 plus antioxidants, super powerful antioxidants in one packet. So, yun yung tinitake ko everyday life pack and ang maganda pa dyan it has chelated sink. So, ano ibig sabihin ng chelated? Madaling maabsorb ng katawan mo yung vitamins and yung mga nutrients niya. So, life pack, so that's my uh, antioxidant uh, defense. Okay? Diyan ko binibuild yung antioxidants ko everyday. Second, of course, syempre, hindi naman yung mga kids ko can take um, yung life pack habang bata pa sila. So, ang, 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 ang tinitake nila in replacement with life pack is what we're calling G3. It's a juice that they will get shot lang, shot glass lang, and it's rich in vitamin C, and of course, it has beta carotene and it will also promote healthy vision and enhance vitality as well. Okay? So, that's G3. 
Okay, kung yung kids mo or yung children mo hindi pa nakakapagswalo ng supplement, ito yung maganda sa kanila, the G3. Okay? So, that's for our uh, antioxidant increase. Of course, let's now talk about our immune system. Of course, syempre, pag mataas yung antioxidant mo, nag increase na rin yung immune system mo at nagiging stronger siya. Pero, let me also share to you one more supplement that we are taking and that is ProBio PCC. So, ProBio PCC naman, ang maganda sa kanya, it has 2 billion live, okay, live bacterias, good bacterias that will help clean your gut kasi alam naman natin sa gut nandyan yung 70% of our immune system so if compromise yung gut mo mababa yung immune system mo and with this probio PCC it will help your immune or your, your gut be clean and it will lead to better immune system okay so yan yung tinitake natin everyday for the uh, increase of immunity and increase in antioxidants. So now, third supplement that I want to share to you is this. Cordimax. Okay? Cordimax. Bakit Cordimax, Mike? Because one of the attack of uh, COVID-19 will be in your lungs. Yung mga receptors sa lungs natin. Tama? So Cordimax can help your lungs be more healthy and increase your stamina. So the the healthier your lungs is, the better fighting chance you can be able to have when it comes to COVID-19. That's why I am also taking this for my lung health. Okay, for my lung health. And I hope this can also help you. And last but not the least, of course, ito, pinakamaganda rin na tinitake namin every day is what we're calling bone formula. Okay, why bone formula? Because the bone formula that I am taking right now is rich on vitamin D3. Why vitamin D3? Because vitamin D3, if you can search it, it is anti-inflammatory. Okay, ano yung ginagawa ng COVID? Inflammation. Ano yung, ano yung pangontra natin? Anti-inflammation. So, vitamin D3 can help you on that. So, that's bone formula and of course bone formula can also support the your bone health di ba so kung matanda na tayo or we are now aging or nandoon na tayo sa menopausal stage di ba i also recommend for you to take bone formula okay so these are some of the passive prevention supplements that i am taking in my family as well uh, uh, as i close of course again this pandemic is still here. Okay, it's real and it's pand it's our public enemy number one. Second, please apply herd immunity, meaning your herd is your family. So increase the immunity of your family. Third, of course, you need to add passive prevention. Don't only rely on active prevention. Please also apply passive prevention in your life including your family second to the last okay sharing is caring so sharing is caring so please spread positive awareness and if this is really helpful to you please share it to your loved ones to your friends and to your relatives as well and last but not the least of course let's always pray let's always pray for protection let's always pray for god's mercy and grace that this COVID-19 will now stop and will not spread anymore, okay? So, that's the end of my video. So, I hope you learned something about this and please apply it in your life. So, if you have any questions, so feel free to ask it here as well. So, again, my name is Mikey Meno. Thank you for being here.